Split squats are a fantastic split stance exercise, but the problem is most people perform them incorrectly and they use variations that are way too advanced for them before they're ready. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to master the perfect split squat today. So in general, you start with your feet about in line with your hip bones. When you think about stepping back, think about like your feet were on railroad tracks. So you step straight back, and think about if you had a headlight coming out of your hip bones, they'd be facing straight ahead. So once you step straight back, you square your pelvis. You're gonna tuck your pelvis under a little bit, make sure your ribs are down, get nice and tall, and you're gonna drop straight down. Now you want your front shin to be vertical and you want your back leg also, your thigh to be vertical and in line with the rest of your body. Oftentimes, clients have a really hard time with this, so we'll have them just hold the bottom position of the split squat, called a static split squat, to teach them this movement. So just kind of hang out in the bottom, five to 10 seconds, come up, again, hang out in the bottom. It's really important when you're doing a split squat, you wanna drop straight down. A lot of women are really quad dominant, they'll have a tendency to shoot forward, and I'll show you what that looks like. So here, they have a tendency to shoot forward. Now the problem isn't so much the knee coming over the toe, but it's what it means for the rest of the body. It means it's a really quad dominant split squat, and that's why you're getting pulled forward. You wanna think about tucking the pelvis under and dropping straight down. So start with your feet in line with your hip bones, step straight back, square your hips, get tall, tuck your pelvis under. You don't wanna jam forward into your hip capsule, but rather you wanna tuck that pelvis under, drop straight down so this leg is in line with the rest of the body and come straight up. Generally, I consider the static split squat to be the base movement and then the regular split squat where you're actually moving up and down to be the progression of that. After you've nailed that, then you can move on to a reverse lunge. So here, you wanna do the exact same thing. When you step back, you wanna make sure that everything's in alignment and that you drop straight down. 